what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and I just came back from hybrid freight and bought me a, a compression uh, test kit and this is this one is like $55 there was another one cheaper for like $24 but I chose this one it has it has multiple uh, vehicles right now we're gonna go out there in the garage and do a compression test on the silver WRX and find out if that motor is really gone I also uh, some of you recommended to check uh, if the engine was getting any fuel because I could hear the fuel pump going but they say that doesn't mean that the, in, the engine is probably getting any fuel. Also, the sparks, I'm gonna do that. Also, I'm gonna check if it's got sparks, and then we'll go from there. But today, we're gonna find out if, if this engine is really savable, we we'll say, or is really bad. And I gotta make a plan what to do next once I find out with this. So let's get it, let's do this. Deluxe guys. Deluxe. Alright. Deluxe. Comes with all of this extra stuff, fittings. It's for I'm assuming all type of vehicles. And you wanna know something? I have never used anything like this, so <laughs> You're gonna see it here first, how I learn. I'm just gonna compare, I'm, what I'm gonna do is just gonna compare the size of what um, spark plugs do I have. It's the same size and then I put this in. It looks like this is the one. Looks about the same length and everything. Let's try this one and um, see if it fits. All right, so we're gonna try it first on cylinder number three. Stick it in like this, I think. Okay, it's going in. It's going in, guys. Okay, that's hand tightened. Now we're gonna put the gauge on it. Gonna put the gauge on it. And then, I wish I could hang it here so we can see it. Okay guys, just disconnected the fuel pump relay that is on the passenger side. It's a pain in the ass to take off, but it looks like, it looks like this. This one right here, you disconnect that one and um, the fuel pump shouldn't come on. So let's do some cranking and let's see what, what we can see on this gauge over here. All right guys, the guide suggested um, to remove all spark plugs in order to do a compression test. Uh, I just did a quick one and I'm gonna show you in this past clip. That gauge didn't even move on piece on cylinder number three. It didn't even move. I started laughing actually. But let's do that. I'm gonna remove the spark plugs on this side. I'm gonna remove all this right here. Remo remove the spark plugs on this side. And then I'm gonna do a, a compression test on all four cylinders, but I'm 100% sure this engine is gone. I just saw that needle didn't even move.
All right, let me take this, these are uh, the coils, remove the coils and the, the spark plugs, and I'll get back with you. I got this, the, the spark plug on this side right here, on cylinder number four, and somebody suggested to turn the key, crank it, and see if the spark plugs were wet with gasoline. They are wet. It is getting fuel into the engine. Uh, I am gonna check the compression first, and then I'll check if I have spark. But they are super wet. They are super wet with that, uh, with gasoline. Let me take the other one out and one more on the other side. Here we go, cylinder number three. <laughs> nothing okay nothing let's try cylinder number one cylinder number one here we go nothing what is going on here is this thing broken nothing let me try the other side. All right, let's try cylinder, cylinder number four. All right, guys, what is going on here? Ah, what is going on? I don't see no compression, anything. Let me try the last cylinder, which is cylinder number two, because I can hear only one cylinder trying to catch some pressure. All right, guys, cylinder number two. My poor neighbor. Got the same issues, bro. What the hell is going on? Looks like his car broke down. Golly. No. No. This can't be happening. His car broke down, man. That sucks. Now we have two cars broken down here. Okay, guys. I did the compression test and this is very weird. I got zero compression on all four cylinders. That leads me to one thing. Somebody mentioned at work, another mechanic mentioned that maybe the cam shaft might be broken. <sighs> I did everything I could to see and I didn't see a single PSI on any of the pistons with this test kit uh, I'm gonna end this video here